Okay, so Williams just played the librarian cast, and now we're back to Roland. And I wonder if he's going to play the pyromancer or the ancestral here. Looks like Pyromancer, which I think I like. So what do you vamp for in this instance for Dave? Do you vamp for Lotus and just try and... Well, I mean, the first question is whether you allow the vamp to resolve if you're Roland, right? You know that he has... You know that if you misstep it, he Williams can go for bargain, but you've also drawn Force Will now, so you can force the bar bargain after having him move all in while you have a in play. So I think I like that line of just counter the tutor, invite Williams to go for the bargain, and then just plan to uh, force Will pitching Ancestral. Yeah, that's more than reasonable. I guess the big question, Sam, is if we are ever going to see Demonic Consultation as well. Ever see what? Demonic Consultation. I've spent a lot I of mean, time watching that demonic that after, consultation. Like, I think that if he'd gone for it here, you'd have to consult for something just for, you know, try to end it once his hand is empty. But now I think you just fire off the Ancestral, look for another blue, hope to hit another blue card. If you don't hold demonic consultation as a, a way to get a blue card. Do DT for something like Time Walk, just try and speed this clock up. It doesn't sound Gush. bad, especially with Gush. Yeah, so now you can float the mana, play the Gush, draw the cards, cast the DT. Um, I don't really like... Yeah. I like, yeah, I'd much prefer going for the DT for time walk next turn, and you can do it all in one turn, rather than, like, there's no yeah. real incentive to DT this turn for time walk that you're going to use next turn. I think you just pass here with counter up, hope he can't go off, and then next turn you can take aggressive lines like that. Tutoring for something. I must like just getting a misstep or something. I imagine you can do better than that. Yeah, he's already resolved ancestral. Not so. for time walk. Nope. There it is. So Dave could actually play the Badlands here. Uh, play the Badlands and four tokens on the board. Six tokens on the board now with the Ritual. He's one shy of Bargain. No, with the, I mean, he could cast Bargain here. Um. Oh, the land for turn. Yep, yep, yep. Goodness. But I don't know that it's better than just casting the empty. Well, if he plays the empty, if he plays the empty, he completely stops Roland's ground game. Um, Alright. Yeah. Roland just fires off the force on the ritual to stop all of that. Can we get a demonic consultation for something? <laughs> what would you consult for? The answer is no. 
So if we time walk and bolt, we hit him for five, eight, and then we have one, five, six, so one seven, play. That's but fifteen. Actually, you can. Yeah, we, he can just win this turn without casting consultation. Okay. Not in the twelve, not in the nine, not in the seven. Right, the extra token off the uh, the extra token of the time walk the following turn. Yeah. And Yep. There it is. So congratulations to Roland Shang. That was yes. pretty wild. It certainly looked like he was dead to rights in game two and yet managed to pull back into it. Yeah, and I guess I mean tutoring the turn tutoring in advance rather than passing the turn and then tutoring which was not the line suggested did work out that like it wouldn't have been lethal if you'd waited on it. So that was a good play on his part. Alright, well like that was fun. Um, and now it's time to get ready for the next match, which will be... Sam, thank you. This was a lot of fun. It's going to be Roland versus uh, me.